Hey guys, Andrew McFarland here from StarterDoSpar.com. Hope you're feeling great, happy, healthy. And today we are talking about weather and seasonality and the implications and impact on your juice bar business. I'm gonna give you some strategies and things, things that you wanna think about to make sure that you're not as impacted by the weather and that maybe even potentially you thrive when other businesses are struggling in times of bad weather. So before I dive into it, if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who I am and you don't know what we do, uh, as I said before, I'm Andrew McFarlane and we run a juice bar consulting agency. I myself have been in this industry for over a decade running my own juice bar businesses as well as helping over a few hundred people all over the world launch successful juice business concepts. So everything we're sharing on this channel is coming from real tangible experience. It's not uh, conjecture, it's not hypothetical. We're telling you what we know from experience. So diving into the topic for today, weather, seasonality. What made me think of this is that I was watching someone on Instagram who put a post out and they were saying they have a specific kind of business model. I think they go to farmer's markets and they're doing pop-up events and they were saying how important it is for them to be aware of the weather before they go to their events. And the reality is, is that doesn't matter what kind of business you have, 90% of businesses are affected by seasons and the weather. Whether you are someone who sells umbrellas, guess what? Your sales go up when it rains. Or you sell winter coats, guess what? Your sales go up just before winter and during winter. But your sales are gonna suffer during the summertime and when it's hot. And so for juice businesses, you are going to be affected either greatly or minorly based on how intense your weather is and then what you do as a business to prepare for those seasons. So the first thing that I want to mention in this is that if you're not, and this is for people who, whether you have a juice bar business or you're just thinking about getting started, you want to build this in as a habit and a practice. Are you checking the weekly weather report regularly, right? Why do you want to do this? Because if you notice, hey, it's Monday and the weather report is saying that probably by Wednesday or Thursday, it's going to start to rain or the temperature is going to drop dramatically. We're going to have a 10 degree uh, uh, fall in the average temperature. Guess what? That's going to impact your sales. And so you want to make decisions around your scheduling, around your product ordering, so that way you can save on your labor and you don't have any spoilage. This is gonna affect your prep as well. Because if your sales are gonna be a little bit lower, you wanna make sure that you're not over prepping so things don't go bad. So that's why in food service, it's all about how well you project the future. And you can get better at that when you're using all the inputs. One input being historical data, what were your sales last week or last summer, right? And also what's your rate of growth and what's the weather looking like? So that's the first thing. You got to build that in as a habit and respond to that preemptively. And when you check weather reports too, a lot of times it will tell you percentages. So you have to consider that as well. It might say there's a 60% chance of rain or an 80% chance of rain. And so you're dealing with these considerations. The next thing that you want to think about is the seasons. Right now, as I'm filming this, we're moving slowly into winter. We're not there yet. Um, it's September, but we're going to be there soon, right? And as you're making that transition into winter, are you either developing products if you don't have them yet to support people during the winter months? And are you marketing these products? Because a lot of times what happens is juice bar owners wait until it's too late. They, they hit winter and they go, oh man, my sales have dropped pretty uh, intensely. What can I do? And they're scrambling. What kind of products can I develop? How can I market this? And at that point, yes, it's possible, but you're a little bit behind the curve, right? You need to catch the wave before it comes. And that means have these products on your menu, either all year round, or start launching them during the fall time so that you can educate your customers that, hey, before winter comes around, make sure you don't catch a cold, make sure you avoid having the flu. These are things that can help boost your immune system, right? Build the habits early on so that when the time does come, you're top of mind, right? What's the last thing that I wanna say is 
if your business is not delivering, when it's cold and when it's raining, guess what? People don't want to leave the, the house. And this goes for every retail business. Once again, it's not just food service. Whether you sell clothes or you sell whatever it is, people don't want to leave their home when the weather's not great. And so the great news is with a food service business is you can get on platforms like Uber Eats or Grubhub, or you can do internal delivery, meaning in-house, you can do the delivery, but your customers have to know that you do this and you have to market it. So on rainy days or even just throughout the year, let people know, hey, if you want to get delivery, whether it's to your office or to your home, we can do that for you. And that way, when other businesses have not set this up, you become one of a few businesses, if any, that are smart enough and on top of their business enough to be accessible to your customers when they need you most, right? So that's the bigger conversation is, if I was to give you some takeaways, always plan ahead, always check the weather to project outward what's going to happen and how can you respond to that through your scheduling and through your ordering and through your prep so that you don't have a lot of wasted labor dollars and product spoilage dollars being wasted down the drain. So if you guys are in a situation where you need support, maybe developing other recipes for the winter time, happy to talk to you guys about how we can help you that we have a full team of chefs. We've been making menus uh, for over the last 10 years. And you can reach me personally at andrew at starterjuicebar.com. Hope you enjoyed this content. If you do enjoy it, press the like button. If you're not subscribed, I invite you to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments or just want to tell me that you love the content, love to hear from you guys, you can put it in the comment box below. Follow us on Instagram. We're just at Starter Juice Bar. Also, if you want to passively listen to a lot of the content we're creating, I also create podcasts. You can find us at the Juice Bar Experts podcast on iTunes, on Spotify. We also put our podcast up on our website. Want to see you guys thrive and help the world get healthier through launching more of these businesses. Uh, I've said it before, but it's really my personal mission and the mission of our company to create a world where there are more healthy cafes and juice bars than there are fast food restaurants. There's no reason we should live in a world where there are more businesses that are contributing to humanity being unhealthy and having chronic illnesses than there are businesses that are contributing to the world getting healthier. So let's create this world together. Wishing you guys well, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Take care. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of the content. If you're in a place where you are really inspired to start your juice business, but you're not exactly sure what the next steps are, for you, we've created a free ebook, The 15 Steps to Starting Your Juice Business from Scratch. This is gonna give you an overview of everything that you need to do from just having a concept all the way to launching your business. Beyond that, if you're inspired to go even deeper, we've created an online course the Juice Bar Master Blueprint that is going to go into great detail into every single area of launching a successful juice business. There's links for both of these in the description below. I know you'll find a lot of value out of them. As always, wishing you guys a lot of success and I'll see you at the next video.